So your security camera's all fogged up and you can't see anything. Hmm, it may look like this. It also may look like that. Well, in today's video, we're gonna show you how to not only clean that camera, but prevent it from happening ever again. Well, the first thing we're gonna need is some tools. Stuff like that, stuff like this, maybe a screwdriver, maybe some Allen wrenches, I don't know. We'll see what's there. Let's go get it. All right, now we got our cameras down, and as you can see, they uh, look, uh, oh, they're not in too bad a shape. They've been weathered a little bit, but you can see here all of the uh, moisture inside that lens protector there. And then uh, on this one as well, you can see kind of the same thing. You shake them around a little bit, obviously the, uh, the, the water will kind of beat away, but still, nevertheless, got a lot of moisture in there and you're gonna have problems with that as well. So here they are, both of them. And uh, we're gonna take both of them apart. We'll, what we'll do is we'll unscrew this little lens protector cover on both of them and uh, dry them all out, clean them all up, and we'll see if we can't get some color cameras working again. Now what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a few things to make this happen as far as uh, cleaning up. Uh, one thing we're going to need is some some uh, alcohol. We'll need some alcohol to do that. And that's going to help dry things out and clean things up real well. So here's our alcohol. And then we're going to need uh, uh, a can of air. I like I like to use a little can of air to get uh, the, the, the cobwebs, the spiders, whatever uh, accumulated in there, particles of whatever, blow that out. That'll be uh, real good. We could use that. And then as far as cleaning it itself, I like to use two different rags. I like to use uh, one for cleaning and one for polishing and making the lens look uh, new again. So that's what we'll use this one for. And again, this one is just an old t-shirt and this is gonna help us to really get things started. This will clean everything out real well. And, and again, this one right here uh, will uh, polish that uh, the the lens back once again. So let's get started. All right, all cameras are going to be a little bit different. This particular model, it's it's called Clearview. It's it's not very clear right now, by the way, but uh, it's called Clearview. Doesn't matter. It's it's just a branded name. This camera is all over the place. This particular one. What we're going to do is we'll we're going to take this thing apart, and it's got the little hood that there's nothing really to it. Just take the little screw off, take the hood off, set it aside. And as you can already see, there's <laughs> cobwebs all in it. But to, to break this loose, we're just gonna give it a twist because it's got a screw on lid, just like so. There we go. And we're gonna take that off. And boy, you could really see a lot of moisture in there. Being inside the building in here, uh, the, being inside has already dried it up quite a bit because it was a lot worse than that when I first brought it in here. But still, we're gonna clean this up and get it perfect. A lot of, uh, a lot of mess down in here. Like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna clean this out real good. First thing I wanna do is get this goop out of here. But see, look at that, I can see moisture already right there. Look at that moisture just sitting right on top of here. We're gonna take, we're gonna take our T-shirt, kind of blot around in there, get some of that moisture that's just sitting in there. Take this out. This should slip right out, and it does. And it has the little look in there, the little silica pack, which comes in real handy because this is what keeps things dry. But since this one has been in here so long now, I think we're gonna change this out. Put a new one, got one just like it. We're gonna change this out, put a new one in when we get it all cleaned up. But if you see down inside there, you see a lot of, um, 
can't really tell if that's just yeah it's just moisture that's built up on that aluminum housing there and yeah but you can see where the moisture has been down in there there's not any moisture in there right now but there has a little presence of it there we just want to get rid of some of the the mess that's in here so what we'll do is we'll just kind of blast a little air down in there to get any of the little fragments out get all that out there and on the top we're just gonna wipe away first any of the mess there. Blow that out right there. And uh, see if we can't clean a little bit of that off. Let's get some of that alcohol. And uh, the alcohol is really going to break things loose and make it to where it's going to clean up nice if we, if we get some of that on here. So let's get a little bit here on our shirt and um, get it in here. We can just touch it inside here. Now this is not as important here on these, uh, uh, the infrareds. And the reason why is because obviously that's not the lens. That's not, that's not the, the fogged up lens that you're seeing. This is just the infrared and this is also where it changes from night vision to, uh, to daytime right here on this little photo cell right there so it's it, you're not going to get this perfect and that's okay you just want to get try to get some of that goop out of there some of that water that's been staying in here corroding up just to get it as clean as you possibly can kind of rub a little bit on those diodes there and yeah just getting it as clean as you possibly can right there all right. And as far as the lens goes, it, it was unaffected. There is there is no there is no spots on there or anything. Now, what I will do is I will take this cloth again, the same cloth, and wipe over that lens just a little bit, kind of rubbing a circular motion there, just to kind of give it a little bath just to get it clean. There it goes. Look at that dried up and it's mirror shine there. That's really, really good there. Okay. So that's really all you have to do with that. You don't have to do a whole lot. Uh, the biggest part on these now is going to be the, the actual lens cover. This is just to protect the lens and keep the, uh, obviously the rain out and everything. So this is the part that really needs to be just cleaned out. You're just going to get the moisture out. Let's put it down here where you can see and uh, get some of that alcohol and just rub down in there. You could see a lot of the stuff that was in there. Not a whole lot in here, just some water spots that needs to come out. Kind of get that the best you can. Go in the center here, kind of go in a motion there to get that out. Now, <clears throat> See, that looks pretty good already. And that looks really nice. Really nice. Now let's do with the outside, same thing. Let's wet it with the, the alcohol that's on the t-shirt. Kind of rub it in a circular motion just to get it real saturated. Kind of clean all that off. There we go. Now you're just getting the, the big stuff off right now. And then we're going to get that polishing cloth and we're going to do basically the same thing except we're going to uh, uh, make it to where it's very, very clean. There we go. That's, that's, that's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Now we'll take the little microfiber cloth that we have here, and we're going to kind of do the same thing, except we're really just going to polish this out. Take this and wrap it around your finger, and just, just kind of rub around like this, and just to kind of polish it because it was pretty clean. It, this really wasn't that bad. So we're just going to polish this out, get it in the light where I can see. Yeah, that looks really nice there. And again, you're really focusing on where the lens is, not necessarily the outer sides of it. Cause that's just your diodes. It's just going to, 
It's actually the night vision, and it doesn't need to be clear. It just needs to be, yeah, it needs to be clean. Same thing on the inside. Let's kind of wad this up and see if we can't get that real good. Let's do it in a circular motion inside there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's see if you can see that. Let's get some on the edges here. Kind of polish this. The, the cloth here is, is just really good for polishing and making that glass really, really shine. Let's do that again. Look at it. Oh, yeah. See, that's, that's, that's perfectly, perfectly good right there. Perfectly clean. And, yeah, that, that'll go on nicely, and that should look real good. Now, <clears throat> on this other one here, We've got that other, let's see, silica pack we're going to put in there. And, you know, when you have that moisture problem, the thing is, a lot of times it's because the camera, the way it's facing, it's in an area that, you know, it's, it's, it's cool, but the sun hits it and it creates that perfect storm for moisture. So it could be, you know, if you ever notice, I only have trouble on this side of the house or that side of the house. Well, it's usually because... Uh, the way the, the air temperature is and, you know, the sun's hitting it. A lot, a lot of variables there that can cause that. But anyway, um, so this could happen again. But the thing is to create it from happening is to make sure that everything is sealed real well and make sure that uh, silica, we got another silica here that we're going to put in there, goes back in there because this is going to keep things really dry and you won't have this problem for another you know, maybe another two or three years, which is, which is good. You don't have to do this all the time. So anyway, make sure that that's uh, clean. Make sure that's free of debris. And then we can put it back together again and uh, see if this doesn't start working again to where we don't have this problem for a while. All right, before we put this together, we want to make sure we put that new silica pack in there. And that'll just drop... I don't know if you can see that. It's just going to drop down in here. And then we're going to be able to just set this back over it again, just like we did. We got it out. And this is going to fit right down in there, just like so. Just like that. And this right here goes along like that. There we go. Then the uh, little rubber grommet that just popped off, that'll actually go there. And what that does is that just keeps this down on top of that lens there. There. Everything feels secure. Mm -hmm. Now we'll take this. This is the, uh, there's that gasket. That's actually sealing this from the housing here, keeping these together so no moisture will actually get in. Moisture's not coming in from like rain or anything like that. Uh, the moisture that's coming in is just from the air temperature uh, differences. This is sealed tight. This is not going anywhere. I see a lot of cameras that have screws on the top of the lenses that are the lens covers itself and, and moisture gets between there. But this type of camera here, it's, it's pretty sealed. It's not going to have that problem. It's just going to be a moisture problem with the, you know, with the like, like early morning time, the overnight, spring, fall temperatures kind of go wacky that's when you're going to see that moisture. So we're just going to close this back down like that. Give it a good snug, tight fit. Nothing, nothing hard. And then uh, voila, you've got a nice, a nice uh, lens cover there. And it looks like we're moisture free here. So I think that's going to, that's going to do it. We'll just put the hood back on like this. Put that little set screw back in there. This just keeps the sun and rain from raining right down on it. So put it all the way out, tighten it down like so. And uh, there you go. Yeah, this one's ready to, to reinstall once again. And it looks like it'll be good as new. We'll take care of that other one. We got one more to do and uh, we'll install it back out on the building. All right, we got the cameras installed. I'm telling you, they're gonna look beautiful. But hey, before we take a look at them, 
Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification. That'll let you know that we've got another video uploaded and you can see it with us, okay?